What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to check out another curiosity photo. It's from Sal 3288. Funny enough, I had downloaded the raw photo, which I can't find now. But if I do find it, I'll drop it in the pin post that's in the comment section or the top of the comment section, right? But I'm also going to show you two other photos. One is from a gigapan from Neville Thompson and one is from a panorama that NASA put together. The area changes in three different photos. Hmm, wonder why that is. But I want to show you something that looks like a collapsed structure and what looks like mechanical parts. Let's just jump right into it. All right, you can see it right here, MSL 3288. Now, this is Neville Thompson's Gigapan. Thank you very much, Neville, for your work. Now, this is the area we're going to look at right here. Let it center itself. Right here is the area we want to look at. Now, what caught my attention was this rock, which almost looks like it's square in nature, right? Now, let's have a look at the raw photo right here. Hmm, a little bit of a slight difference. See that? It looks so much larger. Now let's take a look at the pot that I took from Neville Thompson's photo. Look at the difference. Why is this so much different? Now we do have two different angles. You can see it's a little flatter on the ground here and we're a little lower compared to this photo where you can almost see the top of this rock up here. And of course, it looks like it's on a sloping area down here. So why the discrepancy? Why do we have such a difference? I can see here, this going down like this, and it kind of goes up like this. Whereas this one, not so much. Okay, now it does go down, I see that. Okay, so in all fairness, it does have a look, but look at the difference in the length of this rock. This is what I'm seeing between this here, and we're gonna get closer into that in a minute, this up here, all of these items, and what's back over here. Well, wait a minute, let's see if it's in the other photo. Nope, nothing up here. And of course we cut it off over here so you cannot see that. However, that's okay. But again, the discrepancy, why is this so much shorter and you have like a thinner line of rock coming down as opposed to this one here. Now, let's have a look at the other photo from NASA. Here it is right here. Now, of course, they are sectioned and stitched, but look at, look at this now. Again, why is there a discrepancy on everything the way this thing looks? Don't see much of a slope in between this area and there. Don't see much of that at all. You can see something here square in the background. See this right here? Right here, right in the center of the screen. Looks like it's on a bigger block. Just look around, folks. There's plenty enough to see. But funny enough, the landscape changes from photo to photo to photo. Why? It's almost like there's multiple people working on these things and then they just can't get it right on what they want to let be seen and what not. Okay, just to give you an idea, we're pretty much done with this photo. Back into Photoshop, you can see right here, this is what I'm seeing and we're going to jump right into that. Okay, when you look at this area right here, this thing looks like it crumbled. You can see like if this was, like I said, looking like this, this was on the top where this yellow line is. Notice the width of it from here to here. Hmm, let's look at this block. Let's assume, now this, I don't know this for sure, but let's assume this is all just fill in between there. It's built over a course of time, maybe it come off the top of this rock up here, and it's just kind of filled in over a course of time. The reason why I say that is if you look here, you can see lines doing this, okay? And I think there was a slight one over here, but let's call it right here. So even if we were to look at this piece and say that it come off the top here, notice how there's like an edge right there from here to here. It almost looks like the very same size. We can do it this way over at the end of it, coming down as the size or the top of it. Is it possible that this was actually up here on top of this? Look at the way this come down. Now, if this was, let's put this a little more straighter, okay? If this was to be on top of here, now I know you guys hate when I use red, but let's suppose that's right here and it falls down to here. What's gonna hit first? The very end, right? Look at the way this thing's all crumbled up at the very end of this thing. Like this thing fell off the top and crumbled and hit the very top of it first and this is the reason why we see the way it's broken up. At least that's the way I'm seeing it. That's in my opinion, okay? 
Now, notice the pieces here, and I'm going to bring these out a whole lot more. Right here. All these little pieces right here. This objects or objects up here. And this right here. Notice these objects right here. Okay. All I had to do was start burning away at this mountain, and all these little pieces start to come out. See it? They are there. They're right there. Right there. This is what I'm doing in thing. This is the raw photo now. Now let's just start burning and watch what happens. Notice how this stuff is more and more it's there, but check these pieces out. Looks like there's individual pieces right here against this so-called mountain. See that? That, to me, folks, doesn't look natural. Especially this item here, doing this. You can just see it's on the side of this other item here, where it looks like some kind of white piece doing this, coming down. Okay? Whatever that is, that doesn't look normal. We get something that looks like this here. Comes down and goes down to the bottom here. Something completely straight, darker pieces of it. it. Looks like there's pieces standing up on here. See that? Folks, I don't believe that that's natural. I don't believe that for a moment. And again, this to me looks like it came from up here. Okay? That's what this looks like to me. Now, it looks like the width of it. You can see that. And you got the width of this. This looks like it came down and crumbled. Now, let's do the full enhancement and have a better look. Now, let's look at these features up close. And, of course, you guys get the final say on this. This item here. Folks, I don't think this is a mountain at all. I think it's a structure or some kind of mechanical item. Notice what looks like a box right here. See that right there? All these little mechanical parts. This stuff right here. And you can see like there's some kind of weird piping, some kind of weird little objects on top of this so-called mountain. Here. Look at the way that thing looks. Pause it any way you want, as usual, folks. You know that. Now, if we were to look at the other photo right here, this isn't on that much of an angle, folks, that these pieces would suddenly disappear. Notice how this area, nothing at all there now. Nothing. Nothing is here of any value anymore. Got some kind of weird looking rocks here and there. But check this out. Drop down here. Look at these odd looking objects here. See that? Something's doing this. Piece going up like this. This item here. Now, is it possible that there are rocks here? Of course. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. But these, no, no. Not going to happen. And you can see the way this is put together here. They stitched together, and look what it looks like. Absolute crap. They don't want you to see what's in here. But these here, put it right in the middle of the screen. Have a look at that. Tell me that looks like the average rock or boulder you've ever seen. Again, up here. And these items up here. That, to me, folks, does not look natural, especially this item right here. Look at the way these pieces are running. You see something doing this. Two pieces there. You got what looks like angled or arched pieces here. Looks like it has a round opening. It has the body of whatever this thing is. You see that? There we go. Pieces down here. Is that in the regular photo? Absolutely, it's right there. This piece here again. Just, we can just burn around these pieces and then use the dodge tool to see if anything else that has a white signature pops out. And that's what you get. But well, most of it's already in the photo, folks. There's not a whole lot you got to do to this. And there it is. And of course, we have this right here. Also take note of this area right here on top, right here. There's pots on top of this. 
or some kind of piece is sticking out of this. I don't know. But you can see something going like this. Something's a little smaller coming out of this area. We got some kind of weird piece doing this. All these other smaller pieces here. That piece there looks like it's got a dark opening, circle opening right there. This right here. Not sure what to make of any of this, folks. All we can do is look at and speculate as to what these things are. But to me, I've seen rocks. I live in a mountain estate. And I have never seen rocks that look like this. Back out and then have an overall view of this. Like I said, I believe that this is a structure or something good size that was mechanical and has either fallen apart over the years, blown apart, I don't care what it is. But this thing, again in the lower right, to me, appears that that come down off of the top of here. I could be wrong, but just the way that looks, that's what it looks like to me. And again, all these other objects. There you go, folks. Folks, when I looked at this, it looked like some kind of like rectangular with a square top block had fallen off the top of that mountain. Again, if this thing was standing up, crashed down onto a lower ground, it would literally go like this, it would break. And all of this on this corner would be shattered. That's the way I would see it. And I think most of you would too. Now, when you see all of these other white pieces that don't look like rocks, they have like this kind of arch-shaped design to them. These other pieces on the ground that it look like they're lined up, but like just like just laying there, I don't know. What could these be? Again, we can only speculate as to what this stuff is, but nonetheless, they don't look natural or something that belongs on Mars. As always, guys, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'd be interested to hear it. And don't forget to like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Anyway, folks, got some more crazy ones coming up. I do have like a part two to that moon photo. Uh, I think you guys will like this because, again, we have these rocks like everybody likes to think that they are, but... Funny enough, they're all in a row. Some are in an arc shape. I'll be showing you that in the next video. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace, folks.